God's blessings to you from our parish family at St. Agatha, St. Martin de Porres Parish. I offer this reflection on the scriptures for this coming Sunday, the Feast of the Three Kings, for your spiritual nourishment and encouragement. Let's take a moment before we begin to recognize God's presence in each of us and to give thanks for all of our blessings in this new year. My friends, this coming Sunday marks the culmination of the Universal Church's celebration of the Christmas season. The feast of the feast we celebrate is the feast of the three kings, the epiphany of the Messiah to all peoples and all nations. Our gospel story recounts the visit of the three kings. They're drawn to the Christ child by a common vision and guided by a star which draws them together to journey to Bethlehem to offer witness and worship to the newborn Christ. There's richness to this story. Companions seeking direction to where the newborn king of the Jews prophesied in the scriptures has been born in flesh into human history. They seek wisdom from the locals, the advisors of King Herod, as to what the prophecies predict about where he has been born. They find their way to Bethlehem to the place where Jesus, Mary, and Joseph are staying until Mary is strong enough to travel back to their home in Nazareth. They pay him the homage to a king, and they offer him symbolic gifts of gold for a king, frankincense, honoring his divinity, and myrrh, anticipating his death for the life of the world. Herod had told him them to return to him to let him know if and where they found him. But transformed by their encounter with the infant son of God, they are moved to take a different way back home once we encounter and be transformed by the presence of Christ, how can we ever continue on the same path we were on? There's also a greater message in this feast. Jesus Christ has been born in flesh and spirit to save the chosen people, the Jews. But as Jesus will himself discover, his mission and message goes far beyond the Jewish community. Indeed, as the three kings from nations far and wide symbolize, Jesus will be a light for all nations. This is wonderfully expressed in our first reading from the prophet Isaiah. He says, rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come, the glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you, the Lord shines and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow. For the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. My friends, as we enter further into this new year, I invite you to open your heart to ponder the reality that the Jesus Christ you call your personal savior is also savior to every single person on this planet. Rich and poor, immigrant and citizen, black, brown, white, or every other shade of humankind. This should challenge all of us to set aside all prejudice and discrimination and open our hearts and minds to greater compassion and care for all God's people. On behalf of the Catholic Christian family of St. Agatha, St. Martin de Porus, I want to wish you a Happy New Year and to invite you to join us for Mass this coming Sunday at St. Agatha at 9 a.m. and St. Martin de Porus at 11 a.m. Both services are also live streamed. We welcome your participation in our community prayer of praise and thanksgiving. Please take the time to share this video with others on Facebook. It is a great way for you to participate in evangelization and spreading the good news of Jesus Christ. Thank you for all the ways that you allow the Lord to work through you, with you, and in you. And my friends, in all things, be blessed. <laughs>